Hi everyone, this is my attempt at doing a full face of Jeffree Star makeup today. The only thing I couldn't really do with Jeffree Star's brand is just my foundation, my mascara and my eyeliner because he just hasn't released them yet, but I think I did a good job at everything else. Yeah, so on with the video on how I managed to achieve this look. Thank you. Okay, so I've started off just doing my foundation and primer off screen because Jeffree Star doesn't yet have a primer or foundation. I look forward to the day he finally does, but so far, no. <laughs> uh, first things first, I'm actually going to take my lip scrub in strawberry gum from Jeffree Star and I'm just going to put that on my lips and rub it in just so that they're exfoliated, ready for the lipstick later. Nice thing about these is they're actually edible so you can just lick them off your lips when you're done as well. I'm now going to take the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the shade C1. Probably going to be a bit light for me today because I've been out in the sun all day but this is usually the perfect shade for me because I'm quite pale. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, on my nose, above my lips and my chin and a little bit of my forehead just like I usually do. I'm now going to take my Jeffree Star and Morphe Collaboration Sponge and just blend it out. I think that's blended enough. It is a bit light for my skin at the moment, but usually on a normal day, this would be about right for me. So I'm now going to take the Jeffree Star powder in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to get my powder brush. This is just a real technique, so I don't have any of the Jeffree Star face brushes. So I'm just putting some powder in the lid, just so it's easier to apply. I need quite a bit because I don't want it to come off during the day. I'm now going to take my Beauty Killer palette, controversially, to use the shade Courtney as a natural blush because Jeffree Star hasn't actually done a blush yet. So I'm going to use this just to put on the apples of my cheeks just to give it a bit of colour. After just doing my blush, I went back with the powder and just added a little bit more coverage in the areas that I thought was lacking. I'm now going to take my Platinum Eyes palette and I'm just going to do my highlighter on my cheekbone, my nose and just above my lip as always. And I'm going to take the shade Ice Cold, that's this one here. I'm just going to take a flat brush and do my highlighter routine as usual. Because Jeffree Star hasn't released any brow products either, I'm going to take the shade Hi Dude in my Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration and use that for my brows. Even though it's probably too dark, I'm going to make the most of it. <laughs> I'm now going to take my Bloodless palette and my Jeffree Star brushes from Morphe to do a nice eyeshadow look with it. I'm going to start with the shade Monarchy just to put it in the crease so I have a base ready for the rest of the colours. I'm now going to take the shade Vivid Mood and start blending that into my crease. I'm now going to take the shade Blood Queen just to deepen up the purple. I'm now going to take the shade Dungeon with an even smaller brush and I'm just going to add this to the crease very gently to smoke out the purple and give it more dimension in the corners of my eyes. And I've just realised that this has a mirror and I've been using the star mirror while doing my eyeshadow. I'm now going to take the shade Your Majesty and put it just below the brow and in the corner of my eye. I'm now just going to cut the crease by controlling the metallic shades on the centre of my lid. Now I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to use the shade Pink Magic and use it on the centre of my lid. I'm also going to use my Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration spray just to make it stick on easier. I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara off camera because Jeffree Star has not done one of them yet. I'm now going to go back in with the shade Vivid Mood and just smoke out under my eye. I'm now going to deepen up that with the shade Blood Queen again, right in the corner. 
I'm now going to take the liquid lipstick shade Androgyny. It's a very vampy purple for me, but it's one of my favourites, so I'm just going to... I'm now going to take the gloss in the shade Sickening and I'm just going to put it all over my lip just to complete the look. And then I'm just going to use my Jeffree Star and Morphe setting spray just to completely finish. And there we go, that's the look finished. Okay everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have any requests for another one, please put it in the comment section. I really appreciate all the feedback. Thank you so much. Bye! These things are open. <laughs> Don't need me to do that. I need me to flash the mirror. Ain't no really time for that. Oh, she popping. <laughs> Hills. Somebody from work literally messaged me saying, can you please do your normal look at work? And I was like, my normal look at work? Yeah, you know when you plaster loads of purple eyeshadow on? And I was like, oh God. <laughs> now I'm going to need my glasses. Because I can't see a thing without my glasses. <laughs> can't read a thing. Oh, I've just realised why I'm struggling to read. Andrew got my old glasses from the bedroom. Oh, my hair's nice today. You see that?